everybody. We are here today, day 17 of Jump Journal July 2023, hosted by Mag Journals. Check out the hashtag Junk Journal July to see what everybody else is doing. Um, today is day 17 and the prompt is pause. So, <clears throat> I am pausing today. Um, so today is July 17th, it is the three year anniversary of my sister's death. Um, and so I'm just spending time with her and her memory today. Um, I'm going to do just some, I'm just going to piddle around with some purple stuff. Um, purple was her favorite color and, um, butterflies were her thing. And, um, so I'm just going to play around with, probably make some journal cards because that's what I do. Um, and just be in the moment of pausing in her memory. So, yeah. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys one thing that I did. Uh, I guess it was two years ago. This is my sister at the beach. She loved to be at the beach. And, um, I went to a collage class on, it's a collage workshop on a wooden block. And, um, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I just took a handful of pictures and this is what I ended up doing. Um, we played around with a couple different techniques. This is like crushed glass. Um, this is aluminum foil that we use just a regular punch. And I punched out aluminum foil butterflies. Um, it says spread your wings and fly. So, anyways, I just kind of wanted to show you guys. There's some napkin, some butterfly napkin decoupage in the background. This had a variety of techniques in it that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, anyways, so there, there you go. Um, so I'm going to set this right here. So she's going to be right there as I play around with some purpley stuff. Uh, I just kind of went through my stash. You have to excuse me. Went through my scrap, my stash, got out some purple stuff, got out my little box of butterflies. These are all pink. I think there's some purple or maybe not. Maybe these are all pink. Um, anyways, she would still like them. Um, and I just thought I would play around with making some things today. I've got my purple box with all my purple scrap papers and um, I've even got my purple, <laughs> told you guys I have a bunch of these, um, paint swatches. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll play around with paint swatches. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, um, today's Monday. I didn't go to work today. I don't typically do people on this day. I just kind of keep the day for myself. And um, so, yeah, here we are. I'm sharing it with you. So, there's that. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I've just got, like I said, bits and bobs here. This is a bag of scraps that a friend of mine gave me. And I'm sure, I haven't sorted it by color, obviously, but there is some pretty cool stuff in here that I might want to work with. I like that big silver thing right there. So we'll just see what we got here. Set that up there. Out of the way a little bit. Um, let's do this. Let us do this. We've got these little cards. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll 
we'll start with that. Again, I'm kind of all over the place, so you just have to excuse me and just roll with it. I haven't, obviously, I haven't watched anybody's for today, anybody's video for today on pause. I just found this, this prompt really interesting fall on this day. So, there you go. I don't know what I'm doing. I have all these as well. Anyways, I'm just kind of going with it, rolling with it. So we are about halfway, I guess we're, we're more than halfway through Junk Journal July. And um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Lots of ephemera. Building my stash. And, um, I suppose that's a good thing. Oh, this is a little bit of a the lid. It should be in my ephemera stash, not in my butterflies. Um, so my sister was diagnosed with lupus many, many years ago, and uh, she battled it fiercely, 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 um, and succumbed to it, complications from it, in July of 2020, in the middle of COVID. Um, I attribute her death to COVID. She did not have COVID, but um, I, my sister was very outgoing, very um, social butterfly, indeed. She had, she had a church family. She had a <clears throat> scouts for her kids were both in scouts, boy and girl scouts. She had a scout family. She had um, she was her husband's uh, a fireman, so she was very active in the fire department. She had the fire department family. She homeschooled both of her kids from kindergarten all the way up. So she had a homeschool family. Um, lots of people that loved her. Still do love her. Lots of people. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, she, um, Was a social butterfly, unlike me. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, so a social butterfly, always going and blowing. And um, when COVID hit, um, she was, you know, she, she with her lupus, she 
she had a, um, autoimmune disorder, and she had to stay away from people for fear, you know, if she got lupus, then it would not be good. Um, she couldn't take the risk of getting lupus, I mean, of getting COVID. So she had to basically remove herself from all these communities she was highly involved in to protect herself. And um, I think that her being isolated um, she stopped going and going and going because she had forever again homeschooled her two kids was active in the church active in homeschool active in scouts active in the fire department um, very active in all these community things all these people-y things and um, when COVID hit she was succumbed to her house and could not do any of those things she could not be social she could not be active like that and um, I think that that just got the best of her I think that um, her body just said okay we'll rest now and um, so yeah I attribute her death to COVID even though she'd never had COVID it's been three years and um, it's not easier it's not any easier being without her <clears throat> but I know she's still here she's still with me she was not artsy like me she was not a creative she was nothing she she I mean she was n nothing like me we were complete opposites um, so yeah Since we were. Like down to she, she had the blonde hair, blue eyes. I did not have dark hair, dark complexion. We were best friends. We did everything together. We traveled together every year. We were very close. Um, she was four years older than me. And she had two kids, a boy and a girl twins. My niece and nephew. Very close to, still to this day. They are 23. doctor told her don't have kids she was a lover of kids she worked as a nanny forever and um, then we owned a daycare for a few years and then the doctor told her don't have kids and she went and got pregnant and <laughs> Her and her husband decided they were going to try for it anyways. And, um, they had two kids. Twins. Boy-girl twins. One of each. So, 
it just kind of worked out for her how it was supposed to. It just worked out how it was supposed to. There's no rhyme or reason to what's going on in this little anything done but I'm just sitting here fiddling and playing with my stuff. No one cares about it. No rules about today. Again I um, I don't do people on this day. not a work day. Like if it was a Saturday or Sunday. I find something non people to do. And if it is a work day like today, I called in. I just don't want to be around people. And you know, it's kind of funny because my sister was a people person. But, so, you know, there's a teeny tiny part of me that says I should celebrate her in that way around people but oog I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to do that I just don't want to so I'll just hang out here by myself play in my art space watch some TV take a little nap said part of me feels like I should be around people to honor my sister but I don't want to so I'm gonna honor my sister by doing what she loved to do and just kind of be lazy and sleep and take a day off <laughs> she was a stay-at-home mom for 20 years she raised her kids and um, she loved her lazy days loved them raise your kids to be pretty independent so when they got old enough to deal with and care for themselves they did so she could have more lazy days <laughs> so these guys but they're they're very bold very bold where'd my stickers go they're in here somewhere where are you oh there they are look can somebody point me in the right direction here is where it came from. Do we ever really know about this stuff in our stash? Do we ever really know where half of it comes from? <laughs> or what half of it is? I don't even know what this is. I guess it's supposed to be a label. Totally ripped. So we're totally gonna go with it. But you can't tell. Well, 
life is not as bad as you think. And the day came and went, is what it says. Hmm. Anything else in there? I don't know what day came, but the day came and went. Just pillow, pillow play. I like that day came in bit. Maybe I'll cover it up completely. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Because I don't really know that I like that the way I did that. And there are no rolls, so we're just doing. We're just doing and doing. Picking it up as we go. play with one of these. We need to probably back it. That is not purple, but... How about this? Well, if we back it with each other or a different color. Nothing says we can't do that. Good idea, Michelle. I go to the store at some point in time in the next couple of days and get me some blue. Seems I'm squeezing out the last of it. See if this works. These are really slick, so I don't know if they're gonna want to stick to each other. <laughs> they're slick and slidey. Oh, that's pretty. Just a little purple.
I just do something like that? I'm not sure that's the better for I need. Lights throwing me off. I might just have to cut the white though. I like working with butterflies, but two things you have to deal with with butterflies is mostly their antennas <laughs> and their little their little tail dewy. Gotta work with them. Gotta work with them. Let's just go full on purple cotton here. Okay, we will put together this one last one, and I'll close you guys up. Just wanted to pause a minute with you, and um, talk about my sister, and um, create a little bit. to see what everybody else has done for this prompt. It's kind of an interesting prompt for a jet journal. To pause. But maybe it's a nice reminder. That we all need to pause a minute. Enjoy the moment. Be in the moment. wanted to, um, the main thing I wanted to do was use this purple, um, lilac sticker sheet. Happy to say, we have done that. Except for... little words. in the spirit of using it all up. I think we did pretty good. Just make it a little pile of, I think this is lavender. I think that's what it's supposed to be. In the spirit of using it up, I think we did, except for these two little quotes that say, Life is life is great, not as bad as you think. Life is not as bad as you think. I don't know. I guess 
These were, I think these were from like a Timu order or something like that. So the, uh, the language, life is great, not as good, is kind of off. But that's okay. That is okay. So, I think we'll call it done. I mean, I may piddle around and play around a little bit more. I'm working on um, a storybook journal right now. And, um, so I may get back to that. Who knows? I may just go to bed. I may go take a nap. <clears throat> I may go for a walk before it gets hot. Who knows? Um, so we did a little bit of randomness. I'm not sure I've accomplished really anything other than to take a moment and just be in the moment. <clears throat> live in the moment. Um two little random cards, and then this purple card. So that's what we have for today for Junk Journal July 2023. Day 17 is pause, and again, um, I'm pausing here with a minute with my sister on her um, three-year anniversary of her death. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being with me in this moment. And, um, I encourage all of you guys to pause and take a moment and hug your loved one and enjoy life's moments as they come. Anyways, um, I am off for now. Tomorrow, day 18. Favorite supply. That will be fun because I have plenty of them. So, <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me and um, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.